What's going on, Superstar? How you doing? Thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. I really, really appreciate you in for an absolute treat today as I share with you some personal fat loss life hacks that are 100% legit. In other words, these are ones that I personally live and breathe to be able to make my fat loss journey so much more easier. Um, I've seen countless useless ones in my time, um, you know, from things like eat on blue plates to, uh, to make you know, yourself less hungry, um, you know, drink apple cider vinegar every morning, all sorts of crazy things which are basically this BS, which band-aid the problem and don't allow you to achieve any sort of real amount of success. So um, these five, pack, five hacks are gonna be ones that you can implement super duper easy and um, ones that you can start really just getting into your life and your habits right off the bat, which will um, allow you just to be able to really enjoy the journey so much more because at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. If you aren't enjoying the journey, you won't wanna commit full out and therefore you won't apply yourself to the best of your ability and therefore your results will go <laughs> and uh, yeah we're all about progress here so let's get stuck into these hacks Rightio, so hack number one is to really just maximize the use of spices all right herbs and spices so here is um, my cupboard and you'll see all of this shit this is all spices all different spices that I use to um, basically ramp up my meals so if I show you some of them we've got some things like cumin We've got cinnamon, we've got chilies crushed, we've got allspice, we've got lemon pepper seasoning, we've got mustard ground. So let's go back here and see what else we got. We've got Moroccan seasoning. We've even got some, uh, some African inspired seasoning being, oh, there we go, chicken tagine spice mix. The moral story here is that when it usually comes to um, spices, understand that they're usually pretty calorie free most of the time. In other words, you don't even need to bother tracking them. I use these sort of things to um, sort of basically marinate my meats, to, um, to chuck in amongst salad, and then of course using salt and pepper to really just make sure that you're bringing a taste bud, taste bud party to everything that you make. Because if it's tasting boring, you're kind of just like, this tastes like cardboard. When you're doing it wrong, it shouldn't be that way. Now, fat loss hack number two is utilize macro-friendly versions of things to the best of your ability. So this is um, basically our second fridge in the house. The other one is full of all normal stuff. This one here is some of my personal things. So first one being Coke Zero. So if you're a lover of soft drink and uh, you drink normal Coke and stuff like that, if you drink Coke Zero, I find that it tastes pretty much almost exactly the same and uh, that has no calories. So this is great for being able to use as a filler in between meals and therefore also um, you know, as an accompaniment to be able to have with your meals to fill you up that extra bit more. Another cool one is, um, I don't know if you've ever come across this before, but Walden Farm Syrup. They do a range of different syrups and toppings and um, you know, sort of like dressings and shit like that. Um, here's a, uh, a barbecue sauce one, for example, thick and spicy barbecue sauce. And at the moment, I believe I've got another one going as well, which is pancake syrup. So absolutely fantastic, calorie free. Obviously, if you went to chug the whole bottle, that's where it would have some calories. Um, but in this sort of scenario, it's um, a serving is like a couple of teaspoons or tablespoons or whatever. So if you're getting amongst in that sort of capacity, well, rest assured you're going to be absolutely fine, okay? Because the idea is that when it comes to things like this, and especially if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I'm 100% about making things as macro friendly as possible. So I've created macro friendly versions of carrot cake, of pancakes, of you know even kangaroo sort of pasta, of protein fluff, uh, of cutting sort of salad all sorts of awesome recipes which are there to be able to make sure that you can be able to eat as much as possible for as minimal calories as possible and obviously while keeping your health 100% on point. Rightio, so fat loss life hack number three is to actually block out time for yourself. So I find that so often when it comes to people and they're chasing the holy grail of fat loss, they're obviously having their attention pulled left, right and center from their different demands and people that require them and they usually put themselves on the back burner. This is one of the biggest mistakes that you can possibly make because this will lead to burnout, this will lead to you stopping and starting your journey and therefore all this jumping on the bandwagon, being off the bandwagon, you know, fuck it mode, all this sort of stuff, which can be prevented 100% by simply you taking ownership of yourself and planning your week. So I suggest that you aren't yet implementing this 
this is to you say, for example, you know, half an hour on a Sunday maybe. Look at your diary, look at your calendar, um, you know, sort of block out the time that you're gonna be isolating for your workouts, block out obviously the time that you're working, block out time for yourself to just chill, to just be you and to you know, be amongst your passions, whatever that may be. Um, obviously block out time for your partner or for those that are close to you. And, one, and then from there, obviously allocate time for when you're gonna be doing your day-to-day -day sort of should-do stuff, all right? And if you're doing this, you will feel so much more in control of your day-to-day you won't feel like you're just going through the motions and therefore you'll truly be feeling like you're living a passionate, inspired life, I promise you. So number four is to take advantage of volumetric. So if you haven't heard of this term, this is to basically where um, you figure out and you make a list, if you will, of um, foods that are very macro-friendly. So in other words, usually high in protein, uh, relatively low in carbs, relatively low in fat. Therefore, you can eat a lot of it for not very um, you know, much calories or macros, okay? Because at the end of the day, if you're following flexible dieting or if you're following the protocols that I teach, um, it's all about being able to eat as much as possible in relevance to your overall intake so that you feel full, so that you're sat satiated and therefore able to get the most out of each day in terms of your performance, in terms of your tasks and in terms of just you know, your own sort of self well-being. Okay? So I always advocate at least 50 to 60% of your intake coming from nutrient dense foods. So this is typically the stuff that you classify as fruits and vegetables, um, you know, just all the sort of raw type stuff. Use that to make the bulk of your dishes and then fill the rest of your intake from the yummy stuff. In other words, you know, chocolate, ice cream, biscuits, Pringles, you know, whatever it is that floats your boat. Because the idea is that by having um, you know, part of your intake isolated to the best of both worlds, this will make it far more enjoyable for you and so much more sustainable to, you, to be able to actually proceed all the way through your fat loss journey. And then once you're where you wanna be in terms of your body composition and the weight that you wanted to reach in the first place, it's then a means of cool, working out your maintenance intake and then enjoying all the food that there is as you then are eating at this increased intake, okay? So volumetrics, basically being able to really just maximize the other uh, foods that have got um, lots of nutrients, minimal calories, eating lots of them so that they fill you up and therefore don't chew through heaps of your calories and macronutrients. And last but not least is number five, which is to cha-ching, bank calories. So if you haven't heard of this before, what it basically is, is it's a means to take ownership to allow you to eat more on, say for example, weekends, right? So let's say that your standard intake is 1900 calories per day, okay? Um, let's say for example that you want 1000 extra calories to play with on Saturday because you've got a big wedding, you wanna be able to drink some extra booze, you wanna eat some extra food, and you're just like, you know what, I think I'd like some extra calories to play with. So in that case, that means that you'd be then be able to eat like 2900, which is a shitload of food for a female, okay? So for you to be able to then bank those calories, what you basically need to do is figure out a way to be able to eat 1,000 less through the week. So I'd never advocate just going, right, my normal intake's 1,900, I'm gonna eat at 900 today, that's gonna to be way too hard for you. Make it easy for yourself by, say for example, taking 200 calories off on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, by eating at 1,700, and then if you do the math, that then means that you've got for yourself 1,000 extra to play with on Saturday, okay? So this technique, banking calories, is very efficient for those of you who are very social on weekends and wanna have extra intake and calories to play with. It's something that I actually do personally, especially when it comes close to competition time. Um, you know, when I've got sort of like, you know, uh, less calories to play with and then I'm going out on the weekend, it's like, ah, and um, you know, it's just a really cool technique to have underneath your belt because that will obviously add, I um, mean, sorry, increase your adherence rate and how compliant you are to your targets and therefore the more compliant and consistent you are, the faster you move forward and boom, the more results that you will see. And boom, there we go, superstar, how good was that? Five life hacks, or in this case, fat loss hacks that you can be utilizing to be able to make fat loss so much more easier for you. We're talking child's play, yeah? So um, if you are new to this channel, to the Boss Fitness channel, please, 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 um, yeah, make sure that you hit subscribe and make sure that you start checking through previous videos that are posted up because you will get so much value out of these, I promise you, because the idea is that I live and breathe helping females to be able to absolutely kill it with fat loss, embrace their inner alpha, and just make it absolute child's play so they can live their best life. And hey, if you're a returning subscriber and you're checking out this video, please make sure that you uh, like and drop a comment below as well so that I can then make sure that everything that I'm posting, all the content that I'm giving out to you guys is relevant and well received. And make sure that if we aren't connected yet on social media, scroll below, check out any of the links and let's connect and share in each other's journey a bit more, okay? This is Angus signing out. Hope that you enjoyed this video. See you next time in the Boss Fitness world. Catch ya.